new crime fighter joins the battle against violence in Indianapolis. The mayor and the police chief have hired a new director of community violence reduction. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson explains how the deadly shooting of a one-year-old is at the heart of this effort. While announcing the new director of community violence reduction, the mayor also made reference to one-year-old Malaysia killed in this house. The family has since moved. City leaders and that new director will work towards stopping this type of gun violence in our city. First director of community violence reduction, Shauna Majors. Mayor Joe Hawkset is counting on a new move in an old promise to lower violent crime in Indy. Shauna Majors will oversee huge grant money designated for organizations whose goal is to help stop the violence. This is near and dear to me. This is not a job. This is a mission for me. And, and I'm just so blessed and happy to be here. Glad to be here because Majors, an ISU graduate, revealed she's a gun violence survivor herself, shot at the age 16. Now she hopes her work will help reduce gun violence so Indy sees fewer shootings, especially like the drive-by that killed one-year-old Malaysia Robeson in April. It's June now. We should hear her laughing. The new director position comes as faith-based groups do their part to fight crime. Young Men Incorporated just kicked off its summer program targeting young boys to keep them on the right track. And the leader of the Ten Point Coalition talked on Internet Radio Thursday about their crime-fighting efforts, featured in the Washington Post. And they were also fascinated by the role of clergy and, and OGs working together with police, you know, to try to bring down uh, criminal homicide. And now there is grant money, lots of it, to give out, overseen by majors, to help have a major impact on crime. And we just have to stay focused on making sure our communities are safer and healthier. The city will start taking applications for that grant money right away, and there are hundreds of thousands of dollars up for grabs. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.